Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do our topic today would be um, doing some web filtering on our clients. So given the uh, basic requirements, you need to have an uh, internet connection with your PFSense box. So I've already installed this one on a physical machine. I didn't actually change some of the defaults here. So by the time you have uh, installed your PFSense and you have uh, connectivity over the internet, then you're good to go. So uh, you can see here, uh, these are the configurations I have here. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is um, uh, go to system and then package manager. Okay, we need to download some packages here. Uh, we will be using Squid and Squid Proxy so that we can uh, filter uh, uh, web pages or uh, um, sites. Okay, so we can find here, let's locate the Squid 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 there you go this one we are, we are going to use squid and squid guard so uh we need to install this one first install confirm we can wait for i don't know how long this will take all right it's done oh no it's not yet done it's very cheap Extracting now. Okay, we're done. Okay, success. Now uh, we need to have also another one, not only one. So we can go to available package. And we need to install the Squid Guard. Squid Guard. Where is this, Mr. Squid Guard? There you go. Uh, web proxy URL filter. So we need to filter. All right, and then you confirm. So take note to install two uh, package here, the Squid and the Squid Guard. Alright, okay, it's done. So basically the next thing we, we can go do is go to services and then you can actually see here Squid Proxy Server <clears throat> and then um, Squid Guard Proxy Filter. So we need both of these uh, package or service should work together. <clears throat> now basically we need to go into uh, server, <coughs> the proxy server. We have a lot of settings here, but for now, uh, our main goal is to uh, configure this one and uh, make sure that we can enable our uh, filtering to start working, web filtering. So that's our goal. <coughs> so check to enable speed proxy. Uh, yes, we want to enable that one. And then it should be doing a proxy on our LAN interfa interface settings that's okay this is the port proxy port and <clears throat> so this was removed uh see bug things there uh, resolved we don't need a one transparent box proxy for all requests yes we need to check this one and uh transparent works without any additional configuration being necessary in clients okay transparent filter ssl port inception in in order to proxy both HTTPs without settings we need to set up this one but for now just just let the one go okay transparent interface bypass proxy uh later on we'll be discussing about ECL man in the middle filtering so uh for now we can let this one i uh, will not enable this one there will be another tutorial so basically we're focusing on actually http proxy because this one is on https ssl interception so don't worry about this one i'll come up with another tutorial with that uh next logging yeah i would like to log what's happening uh log pages denied by squid guard oh uh, yeah we can uh you can see pages denied okay so we can leave this one by default if you have an administrator email you can put it there also but for me i can just leave that one the same and then basically save this one oh 
The following employers detected misconfigured save local cache settings. So, local cache settings, what do I need to configure here? Actually, we don't need to configure anything here. So, uh, I'll just do save here so that it will basically say that we have configured this one. So, it's taking a little time out there. So, I'm going to go back to the general tab. Uh, check this one again. Um, transparent proxy. We can leave that one yet today. Okay, let leave that one enable. Okay, and we're good to go. Okay, so I didn't actually configure this one. I just went into local cache and save the one and get back here. Now, uh, if that's already done, uh, we can go back to our um, uh, services again, and we're going to go to Squid Guard proxy filter. Now we need to, in, uh, if you can see here, we have a lot of uh, uh, flexibility here, what uh, settings we can do, but right now we'll be focusing on general settings and maybe the blacklist. Okay, so later on we'll be coming up with other tutorials here. Okay, so our basic goal here is to like filter websites first. Okay, so uh, we need to enable this one and then uh, later on we can apply that one. Uh, we don't need to check LDAP. We don't, well, can do another tutorial regarding LDAP. And it will lag. No need. Okay. Blacklist. Okay. Check this option to enable blacklist. Okay. Blacklist proxy. Blacklist URL. Um, basically, I need to check here. Okay. I, uh, here. Let's go back to your general settings. So. Uh, if we are going to enable this one, we need to put, uh, we need to download a blacklist. Now, what I've been using for blacklist is actually Shala list. Shala, Shala list. Uh, yeah, Shala list. Shala list. So you can go here, go to Shala list. It's actually free. You can download. Yeah, I think this one. Copy link address. Uh, these are uh, a list of pages that you can block here. So we can paste this one and we can download the one. So is it done downloading? Start download. Okay, there you go. We'll just wait for this one to be downloaded. And then we can use this block list to block websites. So I just want to show you basically what else is it working here. We have uh, games. What will be games possible? I don't know yet. Uh, later on we'll configure. 67. Uh, what kind of game do we have? Games. <clears throat> Maybe this one. So basically I can still go here. But later on if we are going to implement, like we can do also uh, porn. Uh, let me see if I can do porn. Yeah, basically I can open porn. So uh, back here, okay, since this is done, I can go back to general settings, enable this one, and then enable blacklist, and then blacklist URL. Oh, wait, oh, did I miss something out here? Oh, I think I downloaded the one common ACL. Uh, let me check something else first. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh -huh. Wait, I'm looking for something. I might have missed something here. So, wait. I'll just enable the block list. Do I have to paste my... Yeah. And then... I pasted the URL here where I downloaded one. And probably save this one. Save. Possibly, oh, it already started. Can we do apply first to make sure? And then possibly save this one. Okay. Oh, since we're there, we come here. La la! If you have seen a while back, there are no list here. So, what I can do is this our block list that we have here. And then, what we need to do is just check on something like advertisement. We can block advertisement if you don't want advertisement appearing on your uh, what it calls one 
on your screen or downloads we can block downloads also deny downloads uh, where is games hacking gumball um, games online let's try this one block deny this one deny that one uh, what else do I have to deny uh, how about porn I'm going to deny porn deny is that yeah deny uh, what else do okay sex you go deny how about spyware yeah yeah you can do that one uh, I'm just showing you what you can deny here and then uh, don't check that one you might get locked out of your own so generic info we can also check this one enable protected mode of search engines to limit access of mature content yeah we can check that we need that one uh, proxy denied error the first error okay well what was it uh, this website website is prohibited prohibited ah, you know? blah 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 all right so i'm going to save and then probably yeah we saved that one ready uh we can go back here apply the one again i just want to make sure you know it's already started uh-huh and then uh i just want to check this one i want to go to uh status and possibly check on monitoring um diagnostic ah, i don't see him here i don't see that anyways maybe we'll find that one later so basically this game is actually working let's try this oh see oh this website is prohibited all right now you can see even i think we tried porn a while but let's try porn and then we can click. yeah there you go it's been blocked so what Porn is blocked. Yeah, it's blocked. Now uh, let's go back here. I just want to show block. Blocked. We can see block. Why did we turn on blocked? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Who has been here? Who has been here? Ah, uh, nah, nah. That's not what uh, I don't know. If we turn on the lagging here, did we turn it on? No, actually, we did not. How about on the uh, proxy one? The other one. Uh, let's quit guard the proxy server uh, and real time oh here we go Woo. what do we have here so we have a 10 the 20 20 11 i don't know where have you been going so you can actually check it here what are the things that this guy has been doing oh okay. message virus url um, we don't have that one uh anyways i'll come up with other tutorials i just want you to finish up with this one try to make it work on your you can actually do this one at home for your computer shop okay this can also be done with enterprise level like you can deploy it in your company okay so if you're following up with my tutorials you can do this one on your own okay so next time uh i'll be back uh maybe more uh configuration with this uh, antivirus acl traffic management and uh this is yeah this is good yeah and we can also do not only here okay we have antivirus traffic management users real time uh we also have some on the speed guard okay we can actually group guys and then we can we can give we can give capabilities i uh, mean uh permission to others what are the target categories okay so see you next time guys and keep watching my videos learn more about it See you soon. Bye-bye.